First thing I'm going to do is mark up where I want to make the holes for the axles in the tube. Just going to use my random piece of wood here. They don't need to be perfectly in the centre, but it's best if they are. What's most important is they're the same distance from the front on both sides, so the car goes straight. So using my piece of wood is helping me get that marking in the right place. So I push a hole through where I've made my cross. And there's a good chance that the car will go reasonably straight. Now these holes will be a little bit too small. Because they're actually a tight fit and you need, to be, need it to be a good loose fit. You can just waggle it around like this. And that loosens it up a bit but I recommend you get a pencil or something to make the hole bigger. I've got a pencil over there. So we need that to be plenty big enough. What I'll do in a later video is put a drinking straw through there instead and that gives us a better bearing surface. But we'll do the simple one first. Right, plastic plates and I looked at them in the shop and made sure they'd got a centre mark right in the middle so we can get the hole in in the right place. Now, some of these plates might split if you just push a hole through, which is why I've brought the drill. Or you could heat up your metal spike and push it through so it melts. I'll try drilling it. That's going to be a very tight hole, tight fit, but for the first version of this car that's all we're going to do. On a later one I might glue some bottle caps on there to give it a bit more stability because this will rock around a bit. Next thing we need is the rubber band. It's got to go from the front to the back. You can use short ones like this and join them together. Let's see if we can do this close to the camera because people seem to have trouble understanding this. If you push and that will join two rubber bands together. And again, did you follow that? Oh well, those are some pretty rough old rubber bands. Let's try some other ones. So, get hold of that one, get hold of that one. Let's join them together. If you do it this way instead, put it right the way over, then reach through, same, put 
میشه دو one more I'm doing this different way each time. <laughs> well, that should be long enough. Right, we need to put something at the front to hold the rubber band. And we need to, if we push a big hole through, that's probably the easiest thing. You could put it in the metal, but I'll put it up in the cardboard here for now. do for now. Right, got hold of it. So that's our rubber band motor. best to make the hole in it before you try and put it through the car. Like I said, these are a good tight fit. Now the bit that's not going to be too easy to see is how we connect the rubber band to the back axle because it's tucked up in there and you can't quite see it. What I'm actually doing is wrapping the rubber band around so that it's going to rub over, run over itself. So it's holding itself in place. Now we'll try it on the floor. First problem is I've got no spacers between the wheels and the bodywork. So the wheels are actually rubbing on the bodywork. So you need to make sure there's a gap. And the next problem is they're rubbing against the front wheels. So we could just widen this quite a bit so there's a good gap and it works fine Let's see if it's got enough left on it to go the other way uh, straight away that wheel that wheel's rubbing on that wheel again. So that'll do for version one, the simple version. Version 2, I'll just add some very simple improvements that'll make it run better. <laughs> 